Hello, in this video, I want to share with you eight tips to help your small business survive the coronavirus. So let's get started now. Okay, so tip number one, this is a time for your business to show some empathy and leadership. Businesses are there to help the community. And of course, they help the entrepreneurs who like to make a profit. But this is a time to be there for the community first and the entrepreneur second. So this is not a time to show aggressive sales technique. This is not the time to show that click and tell your clients limited offer now. Buy now before it expires. No, this is a time to show a helping hand and say to your clients, we are there to help you. We are there to collaborate. If you cannot pay right now, you can pay later. This is a tactic that many landlords have been taking to give a break to their tenants. This is a time that many banks are taking towards landlords. So this is a time to show empathy, to show leadership. Tip number two, this is a time to emphasize going online. So there are many business that still they don't have a Facebook page, they don't have an Instagram page, they don't have a LinkedIn profile. So if you have hesitated in any one of those opportunities before, don't hesitate anymore. I cannot believe the amount of time that I go into LinkedIn because I want to look somebody up and then I see that they don't have a website and that takes their credibility away. If your business offer any kind of service, in fact, every business should have a website. Every business should be online, no matter how hands-on your business is, how much word of mouth business it does, a website is just fundamental, period. Tip number three go into Google My Business. If you had a business that before had some kind of food traffic, well, you want to be found in the Google Maps and you can only be found in Google Maps if you open a Google My Business account. So let's say that I want a cup of coffee, okay? I open my, my phone application and I will perhaps will say coffee shops near me, okay? So Google knows my location and it will show the location of all the coffee shops close to me. And if your coffee shop is not there, then that person is not going to see it. So whatever business you have, you see if it's the kind of business that have food traffic, this is the time to put it into Google Maps or Google My Business. Tip number four. And this one is very important as well. Do not get involved in price gouging. Okay, so what that means is, let's say there are many uh, business that are running out of hand sanitizer or toilet paper, and there are so-called entrepreneurs who are selling the same product for five times as much, 10 times as much. This is not the time to do that. If you're a business, this is the time to show as much as possible you support for the community. There is a guy who was selling seven, who bought 17 thousand uh, hand sanitizers and he tried to sell them in Amazon and Amazon blocked him and he tried to sell them in uh, eBay. eBay blocked him. So not only is unethical, immoral, but also is illegal in some states. Many states have already drafted laws to make it uh, price gouging illegal. So don't get involved into that. Tip number five. Okay. Pivot your business as fast as possible. I have seen this with many restaurants. All of a sudden, they don't have, they cannot take uh, clients in, so they are ramping up their delivery service. They are hiring drivers. They are uh, putting a, a, a mobile-friendly website so people can order online. I have ordered from my favorite restaurants already, and they have brought me food here. So... Uh, there are many uh, yoga teachers, for example, who are now teaching yoga online, same for fitness instructor. 
I belong to an organization called Toastmasters International, where, where they teach me the art of public speaking, and now my meetings are online. So, yeah, this is the time to pivot. My business, I used to have a photography business, which, as you can imagine, is not in operation right now. So I pivot and I started a, di a different business. Now I am a website developer, and that, well, I took a few courses in Udemy, I took some private training and now that's my new business my dance partner she teaches dance now she teaches english in china through through some internet uh, portal so you there are many opportunities to pivot don't don't get stuck don't don't get paralyzed just look for opportunities and i'm sure that you you will find them tip number six if you are lucky enough to live in a in, in a country where the government health is citizen like Canada, like the United States, like many of the countries in Europe, well, if you do qualify for that help, go ahead and take it. Um, here, I'm so lucky to live in this generous country, Canada. The government of Canada is giving loans to small businesses. It's, it's helping subsidizing the salaries of many employees. Uh, if people are part of the gig economy, they are giving up to $2,000 per month to gig economy workers. So I'm sure if you are a small business, you may qualify for one of these uh, government health programs. Uh, just check it out. Uh, whatever country you are in, I'm sure you will find something. Tip number seven, cut expenses or renegotiate contracts as much as you can. So I'll give you an example, okay? Many, uh, many insurance companies are renegotiating their, uh, their car insurance because now there's less traffic on the street, the risk of getting in an accident have drastically diminished and many people have said, hey, I want to renegotiate this contract. Uh, another thing that people are renegotiating is tuition in universities. Obviously, the experience of taking a class online through Zoom is not the same as taking an, a class a, in the university campus. So many universities had to uh, accommodate or respond. But if you don't ask for that reduction, sometimes the give, business is not going to give it to you. So yeah, renegotiate and eliminate expenses that you can take off from, from your budget. And tip number eight, consider a salary cut for yourself if it depends if the survival of your business it can depends on you taking a cut well this is the time to take a cut and and you can do it out of solidarity for the other employees you can do it out of solidarity for society in general many ceos of big corporations have taken a salary cut or have even eliminated their salary completely i know that the prime minister of new zealand uh, her name is jacinda Arden, she had given herself a salary decrease of uh, 20%, she and her cabinet. And this is a true leader who is right now working harder than ever, showing true leadership. And in spite of that, out of camaraderie, out of uh, solidarity, she has taken a salary cut. So these are eight tips that you can use in order to survive the coronavirus. I am sure I miss many of them. Please uh, put it in the comments, whatever tips you think could be useful for the rest of the audience. And please subscribe to my channel. I will see you next week. Goodbye.